and we're back! Time to finish up this little trash-defeating side quest diversion. We're the Unhobo. I haven't seen these trash cans being terribly rude or anything. I feel somewhat ripped off. Oh well, he does agree that this is probably the last of it. And there's the defense. Do we have anything besides that for defense? I think this is the last thing, because we're almost out of defense down items. Oh, an attack I hadn't seen before. Probably finish this guy off. Yes! Oh, partial block again. That was a full block. Counter attack. Delicious. Let's see if we can't finish him off. This will totally finish him off. Oh, darn hobos. to counter that. If it doesn't block that, yeah. Yes. My lack of paying attention to these characters when they can go has gotten me a whole lot more stuff to do. Well, more attack combo things. <laughs> I'm gonna get him full back up then and finish this guy off. Guess he does down on my luck again and hits everyone. God, this doesn't do bonus damage to him. <laughs> that does mean, however, Gabe can finish him off. Go for it, Gabe. Show him how we do this in rugby. <laughs> We got it for everyone. We got even more hobo meat and dynamite. Hmm, do we believe that? Do we want to throw dynamite and then light it? Yeah, well, there's more stuff to break, so. Getting all sorts of fun. We 
We've got a little stupid token thing to get. And trash to take out. Er, untake out. To beat up. Trash cans to beat up. Yes. There's Scotty McScottish. Trash is boiling up, people. I hope you've got good news for me. <laughs> Has this ever happened before? Angry garbage? Before? I don't think so. It seems like something you'd remember. These creatures could be Hermitoths, their larval stage. But that sludge we collected earlier, mere science cannot discern its deeper nature. It may have dark properties we can't begin to guess at, such as the power to rouse common objects into a shambling unlife. Seriously? God, I hope so. I think we've got it cleaned up, so to speak. Well, I owe you, folks. I tell you what, I've got something special for ya. Oh boy, oh boy! James Filth produces a red plastic coin to which bits of gristle still cling. Ooh, smells like vinegar. You're paying us in garbage. This isn't garbage. Well, I mean, I found it in the garbage, sure. It's a token for the Pelican Bay Boardwalk. Damn thing's practically money. Yeah, I'm always finding great stuff in the trash. James produces a jar full of what appear to be human teeth. He then rattles the jar like a grizzly maraca. Um, wow, so those are, wow, it's always good to have, you know, some teeth. Beauties, ain't they? You found all those teeth in the garbage? How could I not? Have fun one with your big jar of human teeth. Oh man, how could I not? Alright guys, time to back away slowly. Yes, yes, let's, let's just get far, far away from him. In fact, let's go to a whole other area. Oh god, the music is maddening already. I guess we can redeem our token and get out of here. Ah, the Pelican Bay Boardwalk. Fun, games, also murder and dark magic. Bring Come the for the kids. fun, stay for the death. It is a gear. As you approach, the waxen man in the booth appears to come to life. You, sir, that is to say, you, sir. Gabriel points to himself. Indeed, indeed, I singled you out the first moment. I sensed it immediately. And what did you sense exactly? Is it not clear? Is it not apparent? This man thirsts for values. He craves them, body and soul. He's right. Wow. Fate has brought us together, friend, and has knit our destinies. Who are you? I am Curtis Swindell, reputable vendor. I am the Pelican Bay gate attendant as well as the Pelican Bay gift shop owner. I also operate the ticket booth and concessions. Everything really, I'm it. 
You should know that we at Pelican Bay accept the only form of currency worth anything around here. Cucumbers? No, no. We accept only tokens. Boardwalk tokens. Obviously. Why does this district have its own money? Well, I suppose I have my own purposes for them. But in there, on the walk, everyone just gives them to her. No one moves without her say-so. When you say her, what do you... Uh, uh, you'll find out soon enough. See what you've got for sale. In the misbegotten hovel of the booth, you can see... A soot-stained gear? A tiny ferris wheel, which seems to be in excellent condition. An ornate-looking horn? How much for that massive gear back there? Oh, you like it, do you? It's an antique, an import. Yes, an imported antique from... What's it gonna cost us? One token. What? Just one? Yeah, I don't really like it. Well, I've got a token. Roll that gear out of here. He places his left hand on the gear, and then extends his right towards you. Palm up. You place the semi-filthy coin within. Have fun with your... whatever this thing is. He rolls out your new acquisition indifferently, returning to his strange little nest. He then places the small coin on his thumb, and flipping it into the air, catches it in his mouth and begins to chew. Ew. We need to get into the boardwalk. Oh, of course. I'll just need to see your tickets. I assume we purchased these from you? Why would you assume something like that? Um, well, there really are a lot of reasons. Like, for example, you're standing in a ticket booth? Sir, sir, please lower your voice. But I... Sir, I, Curtis Swindell, also act as security on the boardwalk. We are licensed to sodomize unruly visitors. I don't think I would like that. Well then, perhaps you'll mind your tone. Why won't you open the gate again? I forget. Well, you need a ticket. I don't sell them. If you could somehow find a ticket, which is probably impossible, then I could let you in. Maybe. I'll be back, I'm sure, at some point. Intimidated by my selection, are you? It's understandable. That's the most delicious looking snail ever. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can do much here, so let's head back to Anne Claire's and show her the gear. Ground here, but nobody cares. She's gonna, like, get enough parts to build her own giant robot at some point, isn't she? Welcome back. rather large gear. Did you? And this gear is... is down in the garage, ready to be raised with the crane. You have a crane? And Claire becomes the very picture of poise. Every young lady should have a crane. Our partnership really has been incredibly productive. How fully this gear and vast key will bear fruit. Indeed, child. 
dark fruit. Yes, uncle. Is any of this stuff helping you at all? 